Today we're checking out the Rhodes East Coast Zoo by Velocidopter. This is an absolutely gorgeous zoo that you are bound to get lost in from all the detail, all the techniques Velocidopter use, and all of your little Barbie and Taylor Swift references as well. Try and follow along with them, because I don't know either of them, sorry. But regardless, let's jump into this beautiful zoo and see what all the hubbub is about. So yeah, this is Rhodes East Coast Zoo by Velocidoctor. I gotta say, these staff uniforms are already top-notch. Look at that. She's so slay. And already, these gibbons welcome you in right over here with, like, their little echoes. It's so cash. But look at this beautiful entrance. Okay, I got I, these gibbons. No, no thank you. Shush. This entrance is drop-dead gorgeous. When Velocidoctor told me it was an East Coast-inspired zoo, you could just see it blooming right in here. All of these are pretty much buildings that I would see in, like, my day-to-day -day life as a New wow. Englander, and it's so pretty. One of my favorite things, too, is being able to see, like, these little staff buildings. Like, say, for example, here's, like, your staff center right in here. You can see this happen right inside the zoo, and it's so cool. I just love the fact that you were able to integrate that right into the zoo. But let's continue right in here. I have not looked at this zoo at all, so this is all going to be very much one big surprise. Just pop in right through here, except for the sea lion habitat. I watched that video. And you know what? I could do with a little bit of a reminder. Let's check it out. And this is gorgeous. I absolutely can already see, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, this is amazing. Amazingly blowing my ears out, why is my game so loud? Look at the beautiful sea lions, such fantastic little goobers, I love them. But yeah, you could already see so much of the, like, WCS style influences over here. I'm thinking like New York Aquarium, Queen Zoo, it feels very reminiscent of that stuff. And this habitat design is incredible. Seeing that it connects with a restaurant right over here too, I love seeing that. Even though, you know, maybe they sell seafood here because I'm sure it would smell like fish all day over here. Just like my ex-wife. <laughs> but yeah, I love this habitat and just seeing all this foliage work in here too. It's just really, really incredible and it seems like these guys have all of their needs met. Let's double check on that. It's almost there, but we'll not tell anyone. It's not a super ethical zoo. It's okay. It's a New England zoo. Or an East Coast Zoo, really. Checking out this little space here, too, for, like, a little sea lion show. This is incredible stuff right here, and it looks like that is all main guest pathways. So you could just walk around here and check out these sea lions from right over here. Such a cool view. Sea lions are probably some of the best animals to have at your entrance because they're always moving. They're always vocalizing, and it's just a really kinetic animal for your entrances to really have. I love seeing them over here. And when I saw this speed build for the first time, I loved this little rock section right over here where you could look into the habitat. But, like, it's protected from the sea lions over here so they wouldn't be able to climb off. Alright, I feel like these gibbons won't leave me alone unless if I go check them out. So let's pop right over there. Aw, oh, such a good song, my friend. So slay. But yes, this is a gorgeous looking habitat, and it looks like your keepers are able to access it from right over there. That is always awesome to see. And it looks like a custom climbing frame, which, oh my god, this little guy's getting his feet sweat. Did you see that? That was so cool. And looking at these guys, it looks like it is indeed a mixed Siamang and Largibbon habitat, which I always do love to see. Especially after all, they do have interspecies enrichment bonus with the given, so that's just awesome. And I have to say the rock work around this habitat is so cool. It really feels like something you'd see around here. It reminds me of National Zoo for some reason. It's just really, really beautiful. And the fact that the Siamangs and Gibbons can actually brachiate on the vines now just makes us- Oh, I say he's dropping a bomb right there. But the fact that they are able to brachiate on the vines is just really, really awesome. It turns out so cool. So let's continue down here and check out what else there is to see. I really do love this little path over here. Like, this definitely looks like a little, um, like a backstage habitat for these animals. And I do like the fact that you could get a little bit of a peek in there. That's so cool right there. But continuing on back over here, we got another view right here. And it's just a really, really awesome vista. Once again, it just really shows off, like, the height at which these animals can climb at. It's just really super beautiful. Love to see it. And from here, it looks like we transition into an Australian area with red kangaroos. 
and rednecked wallabies and emus too. Oh my gosh. Do we have like every single Australian animal in here? We got our emu, we got our koala, we got our quokka. Seems like we do. Yep, there's there goes the little quokka. Where did he go? Oh, there they are. Look at everyone gathering around. That's so cool. And if I am led to believe it correctly, I do think that all of these animals do have interspecies enrichment with each other, so it just makes these habitats all the more better. I'm gonna kill those gibbons. I'm sorry, Velocidoctor, if you come back and there's like multiple homicides, uh, that's me killing all the gibbons. And in here, we have a little koala indoor habitat. I'm sure everything else can kind of fit in here, but this seems to be just for the koalas. And in case if you guys didn't know, the koalas are able to climb on all of these items over here. So if I move this guy right over here and just let him get unpacked, he'll probably start climbing on all of these little pieces around here. One of the cooler things that you guys can do is that if you want your koalas to actually like climb, use these enrichment trees. They are instant like koala attractors. And once your keepers put some food on there, the koalas will go there immediately. It's like candy to them. But yeah, I love this building. Check it out. We even have like that thatch roof up there. So it feels like you can feel the humidity in here. It's really awesome. And then we have another view for the rest of the Australian animals right over here. I really do love that. It's really, really beautiful. We have a little train coming in here as well. I can't wait to check that stuff out. Super cool how you're able to get the tracks to look like, you know, like this is something you would absolutely see in a real life zoo. Now, this does look very familiar. I want to say this is like a Chicago style build. Uh, I think it might be Lincoln Park or Brookfield or something like that, but that is obviously their lion house. And right over here, we have some cheetahs. As cheetahs typically are, they don't do much in Planet Zoo, as they don't in real life. But look, here one comes. Hello. God, they look so awesome whenever they kind of like prowl around. They're such beautiful creatures. You know, sometimes I don't enable pooping in my zoos. I feel like I should. All right, I kind of want to save all the stuff over there for later. Let's pop in through here. I apologize, Velocidoctor. I'm probably going through this route very cursed. And you're probably yelling at me for it. Like, why the hell are you going this way? You're missing this exhibit. It's like, bro, I'm going in blind. But yeah, look at that beautiful big pool for these cheetahs to drink from. I really do love how you did this little overhang or whatever you have going on right here. Because it feels like, I don't know, it just helps the eye so much. It's like you're coming from like this kind of darker building. You don't want to burn your eyes right away when you look into a habitat. It really just helps with the look of this. This is a really cool thing over here. Let's see if we can move a tiger. Tiger? It's fine. They're all in the same genus. Let's move a line right over here and check that out because this would be so awesome to see in real life. Like, look at that. You could just come face to face with your lines or face to ass. Huh? But another beautiful habitat. I really do love the use of faux rocks in here. And you even match them with like the tundra rocks right there to give this really beautiful detailed effect. Looks super awesome. Don't you think so, Miss Lion? Yeah, she thinks so. So I think we should be able to continue on right back through here. We got another look into the cheetahs right there. I always love these little bonus views. It's always so cool whenever you get these in a zoo because it's like, oh man, I get another chance to look at this animal. So cool. I think we should be able to check out this lion habitat too down here. Yep, yeah, we gotta add a poop counter. Oh, are you proud of what you did? Yeah, I bet. But this is a beautiful, beautiful habitat. I love the incline in here. Adding terrain differences to your zoo always brings it to such a better level. It just gives the eye so much more to look for, and it really helps them feel a lot more naturalistic. Got the Barbie uniforms. They're just so funny to me. The Nibian grasslands. Let's check this out. And like, I love how you could see this part from the top of the zoo. Cause like, I don't know what you did in here, but the use of, what is that? The mud? That is so smart. Yeah, let's check this out. It looks like we have a mixed species exhibit for giraffes. Uh, I think there's some other stuff in here, judging by the burrow. Pretty sure a giraffe can't fit in there. Yep, it looks like we have little aardvarks right there. Seems like we also have a place to giraffe feed right there too. That is so awesome. What a beautiful habitat. I can't get over the fact that you use like the mud pieces over here to create like a new terrain texture. Cause if you like, 
I don't know. Let's take a look at it. Because when you're in Planet Zoo, you only have access to all of these items over here. Even if you mix all of these together, you're never going to come up with that color no matter what you do. But the fact that you use pieces to make a new terrain, that is so smart of you to do, Velocidoctor. And it looks like we even have a little food truck section right over here too for you to grab a little snacky snack at. Very cool. So it looks like the giraffes can come over to this section as well. Making our way down this little hallway right here. I have no idea. Is this like monorail? That's interesting. Oh, so this is kind of like an indoor viewing over here. Oh, let's check this out. Can we come through here? I think we can come through here. All right. Oh, we were supposed to come through there. Well, we won't tell anyone. The fact that you actually use these giraffe pieces right over here too. Awesome work. I feel like I've never used those. And the lighting in here is just drop dead gorgeous. Check this out. Even like the framing up here. Don't think I didn't notice that. That is a wonderful attention to detail. And it looks like we could get up there too. Let's run right over. Hello? Hello? Come on. Okay, we'll go around. Look at that. Always do love whenever people do like these little, I don't know, like these staggered little fences back there. Really does help to bring a new definition to your parks and it just looks so sway. So ideally, if we do have a giraffe, ah, oh, damn it. So ideally, if we do have a giraffe in here, come on, right there. Then we pop back down to explore mode. We should be able to see him face to face. That must be such a magical feeling right there. That is so cool. And it's like you're kind of looking down on them, which I think makes it a little bit cooler because it's like, how many of you are really taller than a giraffe, really? I know I am. I'm like 20 feet tall in real life. We have a beautiful little village right over here. It actually looks like, yeah, so that's a shuttle. So I assume we should be able to board it eventually. Maybe we got to turn it on. It's untested. What? It's a problem. Shuttle mode. All right, well, Velocidoctor, I'm not going to fix his stuff for you. I'm going to let you to fix that. Have fun. Looks like we have a beautiful mixed species habitat back here, too, for zebras and gemsbok. Or is it pronounced gemsbok? I really don't know. I, I don't speak South African. Afrikaans. We're just Dutch people. And we have a gorgeous black rhino, too. Look at her. Or him. I'm doing great. I'm just misgendering. Uh, uh, hello? Hi, what are you doing on this side of the water? Do you want to be a guest or something? Look, well, <laughs> I, I guess it kind of makes sense. You're an outsider after all. And I love these little overviews too. This feels really, really awesome. Especially when you're working with like all these vistas back here. It's super awesome to be able to get like a nice top down view of a big savanna. And I know everyone uses like these red rocks. Actually, are these the red rocks? Yeah, I know everyone uses these for like Oceania, but I feel like using it for Namibia, which is known for like really intense reds in their desert, just looks so much more awesome. And look at that. Look at the ladies. Look at them go. Such a beautiful, beautiful little section. And this is kind of what I'm talking about over here too, is like integrating both that beautiful bright red texture with this really subtle kind of like normal temperate sand right there. It looks awesome. And if we continue right over this way, I believe this is what the kids call a predator prey habitat. Though I guess in this situation, it's a prey prey habitat since you know, aardvarks and giraffes might be prey and meerkats are. Are these meerkats? Uh, bestie, I think you might have forgotten your animals in this one. But don't worry, I won't tell anyone. Instead, we could check out the- Oh. Oh. This? How do you enter this? Yeah, where's the dome entrance? Okay, so the dome entrance is right there. And then let's just say, oh, yada yada, I went in the dome entrance. Can you pop in here? That is awesome! So not only can you see the habitat from, like, all sides, you can even see it from the middle. That is so cool. Inventive habitat design Velocidoctor. Incredible work. All right, so looking at this zoo, it looks like we did pretty much all this section right here. We did all this right here. We did all that right there. Let's check out right over here. Peter. Peter. Oh, hello, gorgeous. Now, this is what I'm talking about. This is what the, like, you know, Twilight Pack was made for. Making these beautiful absolutely gorgeous little fall scenery places that is so awesome got a nice waterfall right there too and look at this just the layers it's like an onion 
it has layers. Because we get the paths right there. We get, like, the fence right up there with the walkway with people. And then we get this little section down here with the bright pink little seating area. It's great! Okay, automatically this S-tier zoo because we have Dominic Myers. Thank you. Thank you. This is nice. So this is an elevator. I want to say we go up. Oh yeah, this is a little restaurant. This looks so cozy. <laughs> to be continued when I get a better PC. Yeah, so in case if you guys don't know Velocidoctor, not running on the best hardware right now, but he was able to do all this, which is amazing. So once he is able to get that upgraded PC, this zoo will continue, but this is already fantastic as it is. So yeah, this is just a little restaurant, super cool. And there's even a rooftop, rooftop bar. Oh my God, this is perfect. Yeah, check out the view right there. Oh man, I'm I'm getting my camera out, guys. I, I do not care. That is a beautiful, beautiful view. Look at that, gorgeous. All right, so let's continue back down the path of broken leaves. Love the use of the ferns too. Like these are the perfect like semi-tropical like thing plant. I don't know. So I think this leads back over here, which is like a little seating area. This is cozy. So this is literally just for seating. I like that is exactly what I love to see in zoos. Like this is an area where you could pop over and you can breathe in. That is awesome. And you even get like that view of the building right over there for the giraffes. So good. And it looks like we missed Bat Cave, but we'll get back there eventually. This looks to be a little bit like a wetlands walk, which I, okay, listen, I appreciate, I very much appreciate anything that it's like, you trust the guests enough to like not fall off into water. That is such a beautiful entrance though. And these are all just base game pieces. I don't know. It's actually, no, I lied. It's Twilight Pack. Twilight still goaded. Beautiful. All right, I still want to make sure we're going at this the correct way. So, yep, if we just continue to the left, we should be good. Awesome. So if we pop back over here, we could see another look at the lion habitat. That is so freaking spectacular. Look at that. Okay, I gotta say, I'm stealing this just so you know. Like, this is that concrete wall. Like, that is the concrete wall that you always see. Just the fact you were able to do that, so good. All right, let's continue back down this way. I believe that is the rest of, like, yeah, the little shuttle right there. I want to... Oh, man, I'm so upset that this isn't working, because it must look so cool once it's actually 29 miles per hour. Okay, I'm sorry. I gotta see how fast 25 miles per hour is. Cause like, grandma's getting run over, little Jimmy's getting run over, that guy's getting run over, well, they're not run over, they're kind of fine. Well, at least you know you're gonna get there really quickly. That's so funny. Okay, so I do wanna pop back right over here, so ideally you would walk up this little section right here to reach the bat cave, is that correct? Yeah, I think that's right. So yeah, you get like a really awesome view of like this little aquatics area right down there. You can look down here into like the little waterfall, the restaurant back there. That is such a gorgeous facade. And then you enter the Bat Cave. Are these custom? Yeah, these are custom. That's awesome. Velocidoctor, put these on the workshop. They're so nice. Like you could have had me fooled. You, I thought the... I thought that, like, those were part of this set over here. That is so cool. Are there even any bats in here? Velocidoctor, I don't know what happened to all of your animals, buddy, but they died. Can't let that happen. Though I guess it feels like a real New England zoo at that rate, because it feels like our animals die every few seconds. There we go. A bat cave has bats. Such funny little goobers. I love these guys. Like, listen. I am number one on the birds train. I think that we absolutely need birds in Planet Zoo, but I don't know. I've come around to the spectacled flying fox. They're so cute. Look at them drink. They know they're cute. Like, look at the- oh, it's so precious. All right, let's continue on through here. I was told to check out the train station, which I am very excited to see. I don't know what is happening right here. Yeah, I was told to check out the top floor of the train station, I think. I feel like I'm going through a- what? This is cool. I, I I don't know what's happening up here, but this is cool. So yeah, we have like all exhibit boxes up here for like all of our little tiny little critters. I gotta admit, I never really do appreciate these guys as much as I should, but they are just the cutest little things in the world. 
Like, especially as of late, the exhibit animals have just been top-notch, like the Desert Horn Viper. I just wish we got birds. That's my only thing. So I believe that should be it for the train station. So yeah, you enter the train station, you do the bat cave, you do everything. I think that we might have... Oh no, there's more. Good. And I gotta say, another viewing dome right here. Wolf's Lookout. Enter the camera view, look at that. Oh man. And then you could actually see in the habitat with the little baby. That is so good. This is such a beautiful habitat, looking at this all. And then we get another view from up here too, looking at the little wolf pup. Ah! Oh, and there's a, what, what are you doing in here? Is, is this intentional? I'm sorry, why, why is there a doll in here? Who allowed this? What is this? Why am I in a cave? What, what is this Minecraft stuff? Is Herobrine gonna come out from the corner? Like, this zoo is quirky. I like it. But it looks like we did pretty much everything. I think there's some other stuff around here, like a wildlife hospital that's in progress. That is so cool. And we even have like this section over here. This is what captivated me at first, like this little beach area. I mean, just look at this stuff. It's beautiful. Like imagine just living here. This must be awesome. That little beach bar right there. Look at all that stuff go. That is incredible. But I think we'll end it right there. Thank you all so much for tuning in. It really does mean a lot. If you guys made it to this point of the video, I really recommend that you guys check out the Velocidoctor. He's an incredible Planet Zoo creator that deserves a lot more recognition. And I really do hope you guys enjoy what he has in store for you guys later. If you all want your zoo featured on the channel, just reach out, send like an email, it's in my YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, Velocidoctor let me know that there are probably a ton of Taylor Swift and Barbie references in here. I am not familiar with either one of those two, so if you guys see any of those, let me know in the comments that he is a menace. God, it's like a lion waiting to stalk his prey. Look at him. So if you guys find any of those, let me know. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care and bye-bye. Let's end it. Looking. Oh, yeah. Let's get right back here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, and bye bye